Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Real Life Friday video, we're picking the winner of the 5,000 subscriber contest. I know you are all excited and you are at the edge of your seats because you're dying to know who is going to win the drawing. Well, guess what? I'm dying to know too. So let's get into it. So we had tons of entries, our biggest yet. I am excited to read through all of the names. But first, what will they win? Johnny, tell them what they'll win. Well, Sherry, today's winner is going to receive a beautiful basket of favorite things. Representing Skincare Saturdays, we have the ColourPop Big Glow Up Brightening Kit. Representing DIY Wednesdays, we have the Black and Decker Palm Sander. And representing the favorite things for Real Life Fridays, we have the highly anticipated and widely coveted Ain't Nobody Got Time For That This Is Real Life t-shirt. So this prize package is going to go to one of you lucky subscribers. You ready? Because I have 52 names to read. Now, sadly, I am in the new house. It's not fully unpacked. I feel like I'm taking my own sweet time, but I am doing lots of stuff. I'm repainting the entire house. I knocked down two partial walls. Uh, I knocked out some of the kitchen cabinets. So yeah, guess what? I can't find the official contest Jar. I have no idea what box it's in and I don't have everything unpacked yet. I'm hoping to find it soon. But what I did find is this. So this will be our substitute contest vase for today. It, it fits my hand just fine. So sit back, I got 52 names and you know, some of them, I'll say my apologies now, I might not be able to pronounce them properly. So it might take me a minute. So sit back, relax, and in no particular order, we have Adrian Nicole, uh, and I'm dropping them in here. We have Tools Goddess, which is a great name. You probably already have a palm sander if you're a Tools Goddess, like moi. We have Treasure Forever, TJ Sabula. It looks like Sybil, but with an A at the end. So TJ, Yadira Castellan, Teresa Tillery. This one looks like size, way, choir, but I know that's not it. So yeah, mm-hmm. You're in. We have Sylvia, Sandra Crockett, time plus space equals perspective, Tyler Elliott, Sarah Gale, Rosemary Lezon. You know Rosemary, I love that name. Susan Camilleri, that's what I'm going with. Susan Camilleri, I probably should have pre-read your names. I just printed them out on a piece of paper and cut them into little strips, you know me. We have Jackie Burden, Isabella Loxley, Jojo Russell, Jolyn G, Debbie Jacks, Melanie Fisher, Susan Gary, Mora. I wanna say it's probably more fancy than Mora, but Maybe, Maura Lee, Marilina Hoskinson. I'm so sorry, you guys, you know me. You know, I'm trying my best. I have a feeling John will like put your names because I might be butchering some of them. Nicole Miller, Linda Alvarez, Patty, you know Patty, you know I'm gonna say Patty Alcatraz and I know that's not it. I really should try to say your last name. Correct, Alcaraz? I think that's right. But maybe you should change your name to Patty Alcatraz. I'm just saying, it has a flair to it. Patty, good luck. Everybody, Patty just had a birthday on May 28th, so I am wishing Patty good birthday luck wishes. But you know, I have no control once your name is dropped into the official <coughs> contest drawing jar. Next up, M and then S-U-H-L and then one, two, three. <laughs> we have Pretentious Platypus, but Pretentious Platypus, every time I saw your name, all I could say was Potentious Papyrus. Don't ask me why, Papyrus is a font. It's kind of like Patty Alcatraz. You might now forever be Pretentious Papyrus. I don't know what to tell you. Kimberly Crawford, Landry Plays, and I don't know if this is Landry and he changed his name to Landry Plays. Could be a whole different Landry. You're gonna have to let me know, Landry. We have Vero. Lori Marinella wrote in the comments, no catchphrase, want someone else to win this palm sander, but Hell yes. Lori, you did write a catchphrase and your name did go in 
the drawing jar. We have Lady Yaya, Lori Mitchell. Lori, you're going into the jar. Vanessa Segura, 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 Segura. Vanessa, you're in there. Bella Dia, Erica Olson, Rose Johnson, Jackie Jones. Now I wanna say Dorcas, but that can't be right. Can it be right? Gilbert, you'll have to tell me phonetically in the comments how to pronounce your name. That maybe should be a new rule. Everybody enter phonetic spellings of your name before contests. We have Christine Martins, Cindy Lynn, Cynthia, wait, okay, no, we're good. Cynthia and Vanessa have the same last name. So that's what confused me. So yeah, Cynthia, you're in there too. Back on track, sorry. We have Christine Harvey, Cheryl G, Charu, maybe it's Charu, Sumwall? You're in. We have C. Ripley, Bethany Barnes, Barnson, Catherine Cookson, Belle, just simply Belle. <laughs> this one's funny. Whoever you are bleeding ketchup, I think that is a super funny name. And finally, we have Beach Frost. So you guys are all in there. That is 52 entries in the jar and we are ready to draw a name. Here is the jar with everybody's name. And I'm gonna hold it up like this. No one's here to draw the names except Joe, which I need to tell you guys something you'll be very interested in hearing. But let's draw a name first because I know the anticipation is killing you. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. And the winner of the 5,000 subscriber contest is Dun, 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 dun. Sarah Gale! Yay! Congratulations, Sarah! I am going to contact you through the comments, give you the email address. It's this is real life with Sherry at gmail.com so that you can send me your address and I can ship you the amazing prize package. Yay, congratulations, Sarah. Thank you so much for everybody who entered the contest. Again, John and I appreciate you guys so much. You make this channel worthwhile. And I love that I tricked you guys. I never, ever, ever in all my, in all my two years <laughs> clickbaited you guys. And I thought it would just be super fucking funny because I can't tell you, I watch YouTube a lot. It's like every time in my recommended this like past couple of weeks, it's been all the beauty gurus and you know drama channels all of their videos are like we need to talk Jacqueline Hill did one so I was like I think I should do a we need to talk I tricked you and I'm so excited that I tricked you but I will never do it again I won't ever trick you guys again but it was fun tricking you just that one time so yeah what I did want to let you guys know a little update not only am I in the new house and I'm sure we're gonna be seeing a lot of DIYs but I also wanted to let you know it's not sad, it's not sad, but you won't be seeing Bob in any of the DIY videos because I actually let Bob live with Davis. So you know Davis moved out, he lives with roommates. In real life, Bob, he really never liked me. I mean, he liked me because I fed him and he was around me, he was up in my business, but in reality, he was Davis's cat. And when Davis moved out, Bob was a little bit lonely, hence why I wanted to get Joe. Who the hell knew those two weren't gonna get along? And we had found a kitten for Davis. I think I told you it was a brand new kitten that just happened to be in our garage. So Davis took that kitten. We named it Walter. This part is kind of sad, I'm really sorry. But um, anyways, that kitten had some major, major health issues. That kitten didn't make it. So Davis was, and me too. Oh my gosh, it was the worst. I mean, when you lose a pet, you know how it goes. Davis was really, 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 really sad. And I knew Joe and Bob weren't getting along and it was really like, oh my God, it was so painful. Like switching the cat rooms, the whole nine. So I asked Davis if he wanted Bob and he was ecstatic. So Bob and Davis are back being besties. Bob's living in Davis's house. Joe is living here. So yeah, if you're wondering where Bob is, he's living with his best friend Davis and they couldn't be happier and I couldn't be happier for them. I do miss Bob, but I'll tell you what, I don't miss the fight and the room dividing and the bullshit that was going on with Bob and Joe. Now 
the cats are living peacefully. Joe loves me and Bob loves Davis. So there's the status update on that. I did feel like I wanted to tell you one more thing too, but oh, I remembered, I remembered. You know how I did it just now too. You know how I always do dun, 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 dun on the reveals for anything I reveal, mostly DIY Wednesdays. Someone in the comments for this video actually commented that dun, 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 dun was a catchphrase, which I love because someone in the last DIY Wednesday said something like, can you not say dun 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 dun, dun every time you reveal something? I was appalled. No, sorry. I have to say dun 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 every time I reveal something. It's just what I do. I'm sorry if some of you might find dun 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 a little annoying, but it's part of me. I can't change. I love that someone called it out as a catchphrase, and I love that at the basically at the same time someone asked me to stop doing it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Point of the story is John and I love you. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you give to the channel and have given to the channel over the last couple of years. And here's to just more fun times with everybody on This Is Real Life. Oh, and I know, I know. Well, it's Friday. Just because it's a contest drawing doesn't mean that I'm not gonna get super sidetracked and just go off on random tangents because I'm thinking of things as I'm thinking of them. One more thing, I love, love that I saw a lot of old diehard OGs in the contest but I also love that I saw a bunch of new names. So I look forward to seeing more comments from you guys, replying to the comments from all the newbies that have recently subscribed to the channel. That totally warms my heart. And you know, I love you OGs too. I love all of you guys equally and so does John. So yeah, that is it for our Real Life Friday video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I know you're already subscribed to the channel, so I don't need to say that. You really don't need to share this one with your family or friends, unless you're Sarah. So yeah, as always, thanks for hanging out.